Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I am very excited because in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a new pair of boots. So this is my second pair of boots from DVA from my buddy Gustavo over at DVA Official. And if you're interested in picking up a pair, these are originally $180. However, my followers and for my followers alone, get an additional 10% off using promo code NOMAD22 at checkout. It'll bring the total down by a little bit more if you're interested. This is probably my favorite pair yet. They currently have a black version, this cognac version, as well as olive. I think they're all stunning. I really want the whole collection. Um, these are a really easy wearing boot. These are going to be great summer boots because they're so lightweight and the leather that they use and the components that they use makes for a very stylish boot. So I went down a half size with these. Um, now being that these are gonna be summer boots, I could wear these with pretty thin socks and it, the fit is pretty much spot on. It, they, they wear like a sneaker, they feel like a sneaker on my foot. Um, I would say if you're planning to use these as winter boots with like thicker socks, maybe go true to size, but for now I'm actually very happy with the fit at a half down. Um, the leather, and I talk about this sometimes, how the leather sometimes affects the fit. This leather is a very like loose temper, soft, velvety leather, and it molds and bends with your, it contours with your foot. So what that means is, with this type of boot, you could afford to size smaller, and it won't hurt your foot. Unlike like a really hardy, like calfskin or a shell. If those are too small, they'll hurt your foot. Um, but if the, with these being just a little snug, they don't hurt my foot because they're kind of, like I said, a looser temper, a more velvety feel. And the example I like to give is, these are my Alden Indies, size eight and a half, Davia eight and a half, and the Alden Indies are larger. So I wanna say the Alden Indies are a half size larger. Yeah, the, the Indies are definitely longer than the Davias. These Indies are probably, yeah, these Indies appear to be a half size to a full size larger than the Davias in the same size. Now, I kind of wish I'd have gone with a size eight in these Indies, another, a full, like basically down a full size from Brannock, because again, this snuff suede is so soft, similar to this stuff, that it doesn't offer a whole lot of support and because of the material I could have afforded to size down a little bit more and it would have given like just a little bit more of a uh, more of a snug feel which is okay with certain uppers I would say like suede like this soft suede especially the lining they used isn't a very firm temper lining either same with the Davia it's a very almost has a fabric type feel to it and for that reason you could size more snug in a boot like that. Kind of like how they say how sneakers, with sneakers you want your sneakers to kind of hug your foot as well. Um, that's why they put all that padding on the inside whereas on a, on a service boot, you don't really want your foot hugged. You, you want it to fit a little bit more generously so that it doesn't restrict your blood flow. Something like this on the upper isn't necessarily gonna restrict your blood flow. Yeah, so going down a half size, I'm happy with that. Um, like I said, with these indies, I could have gone down the full size and a bit, I, I would have been happy. But yeah, you can see the indies are probably even a full size larger than the Davias. So, indies are quite a bit wider as well. So yeah, maybe go true to size if you're planning to use this as a, like a winter boot. Um, but they're definitely at least a half size smaller than the Alden True Balance. These are the Nomad boot in Cognac Suede. Wax suede, 360 degree Goodyear welt, veg tan leather lining, veg tan leather insole, cork footbed, lightweight oil and slip resistant soles, waxed cotton laces. Sizing runs true to size, a bit extra spacious on the width for better comfort. So yeah, a true to size is probably, is probably a good choice. But like I said, when I wear them with thin socks, they're a very good fit. They don't hurt some dress shoes in a size eight and a half, they hurt. These don't hurt, but these are gonna be made in Mexico. The foot type down there is gonna be a little bit lower volume. And so for that reason, we're gonna have a little bit more narrow of a last. Like this is wide. It's wide for a South American boot, but it's not wide for an American boot. In comparison to American boots, American boots are usually always a lot wider, so. <laughs> 
And yeah, one of the things I, I really like about the style is they burnish the toe here and they also burnish the back heel stay. It gives it a cool look. Um, typically you don't see people burnishing uh, suede, but this is a wax suede and so um, the burnished look on the suede looks, looks pretty dang cool if you ask me. So yeah, these are gonna be a true mock toe, so two different, so two different pieces that comprise the toe. On the top of the toe, it's a, it's a separate uh, piece of leather stitched to the base of the toe for the upper. Yeah, so the tongue is not gusseted. The tongue also has a cool little leather loop here that the top laces run through. So we've got a sec separate piece on the back heel strip. We've got a rolled top edge. We've got five antique brass eyelets and two antique brass speed hooks at the top. Very stylish, very easy wearing, very lightweight boot, easy to wear with really anything. I'm very happy with this brand. This has been a few years in the making. I'm very excited for the owners to see what they do next. I hear that they have a lot more makeups on the way, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about these boots? Again, the promo code to get 10% off these is gonna be Nomad22 at checkout. They're gonna be made in Mexico, uh, I believe in Leon, Mexico. Uh, talking to my buddy Christian Daniel, it's a whole industry down there. They have tanneries and they're just cranking out all kinds of leathers, all kinds of materials. They're really doing some incredible things down there. It's really given rise to a, a new era of lines of boots, footwear lines coming out of that region. So it's pretty cool. It's fascinating. I'd love to visit Leon one day to, to check it out myself. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. What do you think about these boots? Do you own any Davia boots? I think they're pretty outstanding, especially for the price. So. Anyways, you can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you all in my next video.